Well, hello everybody. This is the Supersonic Coder. I am Shravas. How are you all? Uh, yes, this is one of the greatest achievements I have made till now. I have made uh, almost a little above. Like uh, I have made the skeleton and muscles of the game. Just joking. So yeah, it's that's a very primitive stage multiplayer game. It's a car racing game, 2D, and I'm just gonna name myself Supersonic. I go to name I say play and I'll name this guy super sonic 2 oh yeah I have been very courteous and I've made my uh, say hello supersonic that way supersonic 2 uh, the last person who logs in isn't going to be getting that all that cur uh, courtesy now if you see there's a silver covet and a red covet here there's supposed to be a black and blue but since there are only two players playing the other two will be parked in the middle of the road like illegal people uh, like uh, illegally and unless and you see a red circle here it's um, it's yeah it's that red circle is supposed to be like highlighting which car is yours and so it's supposed to be here too and i it might look not that good playing a multiplayer game on two tabs on my own laptop but you got to see this meanwhile i'll also show you um, after i show you the primitive features and like a uh, uh, notice notice this is here moment i go here this is also here i move this like to the almost same position it's got noted here so how do you think both the screens uh, are getting that uh, location how are they being like notified like okay this the white the silver curvet has moved in this one okay red curvet be ready to note that down sort of anywho uh, i can do equality so why not and uh, uh, yeah, uh, the way I am making this is by the real-time database. The um, Firebase database is the Google database which I'm using. And the class 36 is the class in which I started this game. Now, game state is one. Game state is a practically which state of the game. If in the Pong game, which I had created, there would be a reset. That will be a separate game state. There we wouldn't give none. We wouldn't give numbers to code them. Yeah, we are giving zero. Zero was what the form you saw. One is the game, and two is the player count. And two is when you are ended. Now the player count, depending on number of players. Then there's a whole new thing called creator called players, and it's given every detail. The player one, the distance is one seven two zero. The name is supersonic. Player two, distance covered is one seven two zero because they're in the same level. And name is supersonic two. Yes. Now I want to. I I do, I don't want to play it now. I I just want to, you know. I don't like this uh, two players this thing. So all I got to do is reset game state to zero and reset player count to one. Earlier what I had to do was cut this, then add another. But then my teacher pointed out all I got to do is type zero and click on enter. It gets saved. Now this players was something new created as soon as the game state changed to from zero to one. I just got to delete this and after this gets deleted I got to reload this page and I got to reload this page and why you're back to the start see this game stage zero and zero moment moment I add my name as supersonic and I say play hello supersonic go here and this has been added just fresh and I'll go to the other one which says supersonic 2 I'll say play and it goes back to start and it will have it will have the player 2's distance and name now as soon as I move the first player with the highlight and just get into the illegally parked blue car there you go 570 pixels away <laughs> from the start point is the blue car so like police heads up here Whereas that's also moved ahead, why don't I move to the same level as them? So yep, 570 and 570. You can see this, it was coming in uh, yellow, means it was just getting added. And now the code is pretty lengthy for this, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the code. See this, we had to create a canvas as a separate variable, it's not supposed to be. Canvas is not supposed to be a separate variable, it's already added there. Then you create the game state as zero, then you create a player count create all players you create a distance which will be zero and you create a database then everything the form a player a game the cars is a separate variable to refer to them all in together 
and four cars i'm not going and the images i'm not going to be you know um really going into it completely because there is a lot to do this is just one class which has 45 these three are separate classes one has 80 one has 50 and another has some 45 lines so i won't be doing that uh, there are some key things i want to tell you like uh, when you go to this index.html index.html if you look at this this what you see here is me is basically the um, the the firebase the database connecting to this program it's this api key author domain and database url project id storage bucket messaging center id and app id all these uh, fancy terms just meant to connect this program this code to the real time database and vice versa that then the form was everything that you saw in the um, on the on the first page it has um, it has the input and again we are saying this dot input this dot button this dot is basically to assign a variable inside the constructor usually like as yet seen it is cast.js we are not put it inside the pre function preload or function setup or function draw but we created the variables outside each one of the functions not in a separate class here you inside the constructor you make it this dot input so now this dot input will be creating an input like a text box like that it's html basic html html5 then uh, i i realized that each computer will not have the same screen size so i thought okay why not why not any any computer screen size minus uh, 15.6 inches so any computer screen size you want me to fit this in all right i'll just make this uh, position as display width so no matter where whichever screen you are in display width divide by 2 minus 50 and 0 so like this is the x this entire thing is the x and this is the y then same for the input the input is r the input actually is our name then there is this was a title then this was the name we will be adding then this will be the this dot button dot position and uh, the button which will be creating like saying play and i just realized this is just saying okay play so 1 2 3 4 play control s and refresh every time you have added something you've got to go to that class press control s and click on the refresh button and then i can always go back here cancel this out it might seem a little tedious but it's all for the better and yeah and all i got to do is refresh and refresh we uh, come here and i see um uh it is transferring data whoops i made one mistake and now it's not oh okay it's showing it's saying play so yeah it's 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 happy <laughs> anyway and i learned this new operator this if you look at it is this okay i know it must be confusing but th this i mean the symbol you are looking at is the equivalent to the expression this sometimes uh, like if i were to backspace it it would cause an error because you are basically making a function based on a variable for that you got to use the this operator there you go there you go everything is back to normal so this was just the form A entire the first page then comes game game was something very hard to create but uh, i'll show you see in the constructor nothing because there is nothing in the constructor you don't need to make any variables then you create these separate separate functions like get state we'll have a get game state reference it will also uh, basically this mean this one actually means that from the database to get the game state here you have to update the state like after the, all the forms have been filled you have to update it to one so that then async async means asynchronous and asynchronous means when you are saying async start means whatever in this will only happen after you allow after the database allows a permission but it's my database i've already said permission allowed frankly i have not said that but see this is public it's in test mode so anybody can access it naturally this is can also access it then it will uh, it will create a it'll nested if if inside if loop inside an if loop <coughs> so it will show the form it will display the form then we added we made the car one we added the image then after when you play the form will immediately hide then the player will get the player info 
now if all players is not equal to undefined undefined basically means zero undefined and null this is what zero are actually zero terms equivalent to zero so if they are not zero then it will change the background and the track will be this and background rgb is actually useless now this was the same code we have worked on from state 0 0.5 there was one two three four four classes totally the index of the array now this 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 um, our array here our array is this this an array our array will have the index zero so inside an array the first zero means basically the first term you have that an array stores data variables from different different uh, types so the x and y position then the plr and all players the player variable in that then just to make sure that you can see your own car these three were created and that's enough about the game because everything has been done the one fatal mistake we had done was not creating draw sprites then this is actually unnecessary we don't use that it's just to find out whether the game has ended now when i go to player.js here you have in this dot index which will be null zero this dot distance zero and this dot name null zero null is basically nothing zero is still a number null is nothing like that i hope you get it now you'll have a get count so it will get the player count it will be up it will update the player count it will update your player index and it will uh, the player index means the number of players and it will say like uh, it will say like name this dot name basically name is supersonic distance is whatever the distance is like that <coughs> i hope you get that so i, I i'll show you now it's generally zero and zero, but then you saw here it will show players name supersonic and distance covered something like that, right? Now static, static means neutral. It doesn't it does not have to wait for anything. It will continue to be doing this. It'll get a player info again referred from the database. So I'll show you the game one more time. I'll say play oh, one fine one hello one and hello two. Why not to play? Hey, hey, enjoy this. La, 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 la. I like the silver cover more. So, buy red cover, you're also parked illegally. Yeah, it might seem a little boring, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of more ideas. Like, if you press the up arrow key for more than two seconds, it will give you a nitro boost of... Wait, equality. It will give you a nitro boost of five seconds. So, then your speed will double for five seconds. And sort of thing, you know. And then also I was thinking I want it to collide and then it will suddenly disappear. The ca other car will disappear, whatever car you collide with. Uh -uh, this cross, this cross, but the end line is actually here. And obviously I like the silver cover more. So this will win, but since this one has won, in, in this tab, in the first tab here, this is still here, the red car. In this tab, the red car has also come up. <coughs> I hope you enjoyed today's informative uh, session all on this new uh, code editor I've been using visual studio code and I, it has come to light that I'm not going to be only creating games and the ne ne next big thing I'm going to be doing is going to publish one of my games on play store watch out for that okay I think I'm going to sign out and also to give you a little heads up I'm going to be creating apps I'm going to create an app um, equivalent to kindle something like kindle and that app is going to take at least 20 to 25 classes. You don't know, I'm going to condense it in one less than 15 minutes video. But anyway, I hope you think this class was good. Thank you so much. Bye.